Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington. I feel like Ronald Reagan saying, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. I don't do a good gipper, but the Capitol Hill police chief wants to keep that big old fence all around the Capitol. No, and hell no. And we'll fire you and get the next guy in here because the last guy couldn't protect the Capitol with a $500 billion budget. And basically the enemy within or whoever it was, let it all happen. And it was a disgrace to our country, a stain that we won't have forever. But the solution is not keeping some big wall up. That's a cheater and a coward's way of doing this, quite frankly. The leadership of the Capitol Hill police, which have all been fired now, are the reason that we had this. And they are gone. And a lot of brave people were injured and two were ended up dying over this on the police force, and I feel for them. But this is not the solution. And making Washington is not an armed camp. You know, the city of Rome never let its garrisons come inside its walls, at least not with their weapons. Sometimes the generals come in, but they were no longer generals. And that worked for Rome for a long time until they got overrun, but they got defeated from within. And that's what our country faces as a threat, too. I sound like the people I'm talking about in a way, but I want to protect this city because I know what's going to happen. You give security a chance, they're going to take all of our freedoms away in this city, basically try and make it a museum. Well, that's not going to happen. The Capitol is called the People's Palace in the early years for a very good reason, because it is the People's Palace. And we need to be able to go in as the people and see this. Legally, of course, not like the crazies that went did things. But after 9-11, so much security in this town was changed. You can't hardly walk into a building anymore without a metal detector. Okay, it's to keep people safe. I get it to a point. But we are not turning Washington into some camp, and that wall needs to come down, and the National Guard needs to go home. I'm done with this. Ooh, two minutes are up. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for your two minutes. I'll see you soon.